Hi there, everyone. I've been having a serious problem with opening up my AutoCAD LT program 2019 within my Mac iMac computer using Mac iOS. And the reason for that is I use data migration from my Mac notebook to my iMac. So after several days of trying to figure this out and talking to technical support at very basic level at AutoCAD, working my way up to uh, advanced and then even working my way up to Mac uh, support, this is what I discovered this knowledge base program, which you can get at Autodesk Network. Uh, copy this, and I will paste it right here in my notes. So here's a new note. Okay, so here it is. I'll leave this on here, but all you have to do is look for uh, AutoCAD EMEA uh, on Mac. OS hangs, crashes, or freezes during launch. So that's what you're looking for. Okay, very good. So, close out of this. And basically what this tells you is that, and this is only when you performed a data migration. And what a data migration is, is when you have one Mac and you bring all the data to another Mac. That's a data migration. The critical system file private host is missing or corrupt. Okay, so the way to find that is you go into here and then click go and go to folder private, etc. go, click on, you change this, and you're looking for this file. File's name is hosts, right here. And this file should be a regular file, not whited out or anything, or grayed out. And you open it with text edit, and this is what the file should look like. If it looks anything different than this, then you have a problem. And that usually happens when you migrate the files. Okay, so that's what it looks like. That's where it's located. And what you really need to do is repair or restore the host file in the system by following these steps. And basically what you do is you create a new text file that looks just like this. And you save the text file exactly the way it's described over here. And you put that text file directly into this folder. Private hosts. Once you do that and you close out and you restart your AutoCAD program, it should start out perfectly well. And you shouldn't have any more problems. If any of this doesn't help you, then you can create a new profile and try it with that. Um, before they tell you you got to uninstall, reinstall, uninstall, reinstall, 
try looking for this to see if that was corrupted. Because I had to do uninstall, reinstall about 10 times. And the people at Autodesk say they're not responsible for any files outside of Autodesk. And this particular file is definitely, um, definitely not an Autodesk file. It's an Apple file. So this applies to both Apple and Autodesk. But the problem here is that Autodesk doesn't have an error message when you try to solve this problem. There is no error message saying that this is what's going on. You're left to figure it out on your own and with the help of technical support people that read um, certain scripts so they don't have a working knowledge. Fortunately for me I got in touch with Kimberly who admitted she had no knowledge and technical knowledge. She was just more or less um, someone that helped you log on you know with your account. But then she referred me to uh, Bradley or Brad. Uh, Brad had more limited knowledge of Apple and he referred me to this article and he tried to do it himself you know by connecting TeamViewer and he wasn't able to complete it because he you know had to go home so he referred me to Matt and Matt was the most experienced of uh, the AutoCAD technical support people um, in the Mac department who know how to solve this problem and he was able to help me. So without their help, I probably would have just canceled my subscription. So in summary, if you have a problem logging into AutoCAD, these particular programs, and you perform the data migration from one Mac to another Mac, this typical, this file host was, was corrupted or changed in order to do that. Uh, Apple doesn't change it back, so you have to change it back. And there's nothing on the Apple website so that you have to change it back. This is the procedure of changing it back to the way it was. You have to cut this information and paste it in a text file and save it and put it right back into this particular folder. And then your particular program should be working perfectly just like mine and hopefully for you you won't have to uh, spend two or three of your um, days trying to figure this out and 10 to 15 hours please take your time review this if you have any questions please post the questions underneath please follow and like this so that other people will know where it is and thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.